this ain't even an argument, right? The best player in the series is Steph Curry. Okay, Jason Maybe. Tatum's had his had his moments as a distributor, Maybe. and he scored better. Best but career. the best player in the series is, is Steph Curry. Okay, he has played like last it. night. He's got the best career. So let's assume that we see Steph in some approximation of the Steph that we've seen through the first three games with, with who has been with apologies to Jason Tatum, the best player in the series so far. Um, but let's go back to Draymond's initial gripe with the question best about shooter. his podcast. Best let's shooter. My opinion is that the teams are talent wise, I think pretty evenly matched. So but the Warriors have the best player in the series and I do think there's a a difference in the level between us. Tell Michael that. Yeah, there is that's between us between a Steph Curry. Right. No, 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 he not shooter. Again. I hate that. It's, it's, right. He did. He did. He did I again. hate that, hey, but how is he not the best on. player? Sorry, Nat. How is Come he on, not the best it. player? You've done this, you've done this three times in the last several days. You took exception Jay. twice with me, <laughs> and now again with Natalie. Why, how is Steph not the best player in what, the series? Forget about body you, and work with this series. We just got a staring contest. I mean, you know, like who, who plays first? <laughs> All right, listen, I'll go first. I'll be the listen. I'll be the bigger man here. I'll be the bigger man. <laughs> I'll take the high road. You know, I, I, oh, I'm gonna okay. do. I'm gonna do what the, you know. Maybe what's the you won't. What's um, the alternative? I know exactly. there's no alternative. No alternative. Yeah, yeah. There you go. I thought that was a private. I, I thought that was private. I thought that was private. I thought that was just between us. No. Uh, no, this is fair game. Right after it's all fair game. Right after game four, I sent Michael uh, Smith to Texas and um, best player, best player. What we saw, what we saw on Friday night was tremendous, super genius, supernatural, amazing, uh, just staggering, stunning. Yes, he ha he has been the best player in the series. He is the best player in the series until somebody comes up to him and. Hits him with the haymaker that knocks him out. You gotta what knock him out. I, I, I mean, I, I'm, and I may be trying to troll. I'm not trying to clown you. Like, like, why? Oh, no, why did you keep? Why did you keep arguing what was obvious? Like, you know, it's been said what? one is entitled to his opinion, his or her opinion, but not his own facts. Like, there was really well, not much well, dispute well, about who the best player has been. From the beginning of the series, consistently, well, I, no, and I yet you went far. out of your way to keep saying, would, "No, no, I wouldn't." Okay, no, so I, I don't, no, I don't, I, don't no. I have no like, regrets. I have no regrets okay. about that. No, I have no regrets about the okay. the process. Just because, just because America knows Steph Curry's work because he's been on the stage six times in the last eight years, because all the wonderful things we say about him. Let's not no. Let's not pretend that Jason Tatum like oh it's not even a discussion. No, they are both. It wasn't. Was but it person? wasn't to begin with. What? It was. That's what I'm trying to. That's what I'm. Like game four I, just just, just completely put it Stop out the that. way. But I, I, it ain't it ain't Steph Curry. It ain't Steph Curry versus one of his brothers. It's Steph Curry versus a first team All NBA MVP candidate who you said you did on this show. Well, it, you you thought he should have had conversation. It, you should have had he should have had consideration for MVP, Jason Tatum. Yeah, so it's not like Jason six. Tatum didn't belong. Six. No, 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 no. It, yeah, it, no. All right, let, let, let's it, let's Jason be Tatum clear. Didn't we belong can, in we, the conversation. We don't we don't have to waste the show doing this, but let's just be clear. It was never about in a vacuum who the best player was. It was never about body of work. It was about from game one of these 2022 NBA Finals to game two of these 22 NBA Finals well, that's what we to game three okay, of these fine. 22 NBA Finals. That's and now for certain after game four, there was, in my mind, in most logical minds, there was never oh, a conversation about who stop the better that. player had been. It's, no, I'm not going to stop. stop that. You the it's one need to stop. That's why we mind. started the show that way. You. You the he one was, gotta stop. That's why we started the show great. that way because no, it was out to lunch last game week, one. and Steph Curry completely what happened from game, game one? one. You weren't from talking like this in they, game one. You weren't talking like I this. Was. He made six three pointers. He made six three pointers in the first quarter. Hold on, hold on. He made six three pointers in the first quarter. Had twenty one in the first quarter of game one, and then had thirteen the rest of the game. They lose the game 
Nobody was saying definitive. You weren't saying definitively Steph Curry is the best player in the series. No, you weren't. But okay, but even if you were, even if you were, it is not so lopsided. I don't think when you get to the top of the mountain, I don't think you can get to the top 10 players in the league and Jason Tatum is one of those. I hope you think that right one of the 10 best players in the NBA. I don't think when you're talking about 10 versus four, 10 versus six, that it's like, oh my God, let's just walk away from the table. There's no conversation. It was a conversation, but after game four, I had no case. After game I four, I, I had okay. no case. All right. I guess I guess I just don't. All right. After game you one. Had, you ain't got to furrow your brow after, like after, that, bro. After, after, no, no, no. I, no, I, no it, it is that deep. It's that deep for me. If no, I it's say not. it's that deep, it's that deep. Well, no, it's not. You. I say it's not stop. that deep. You I say it's not that deep. You stop that. You stop that. After game one, Al Horford looked like he was going to be the finals MVP. If you're doing if you go give out finals MVP after game one. No, we're not doing to it. your point. I'm not doing no, it. no, 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 I'm no, no, I'm act, no, I'm no, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm actually supporting your point about after game one. I'm saying Al Horford was the was the clubhouse leader. If there is such a thing after one game of what looks like it's going to be a seven game series. I guess what confuses me about this conversation, if you want to call it a conversation, is whether or not you were saying that Jason Tatum was on Steph Curry's level of stardom in general or comparing their performances through the first game two or three of this series. So maybe there's some something being lost in translation. But just to kind of land this plane, it sounds like you're not taking anything back from what you said prior to game four. You're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna die on this hill for game four after game four, but you're not taking anything back. What I recognize, and I'm, I'm not taking this. back the, the process. People, okay, I'm not taking. And I, the people I, I, who my, watch my this show with you is, and the people who know you, go ahead. No, my go only ahead. issue with you on this is questioning. I, I, I'm taking. I'm taking exception to your questioning of the process. Uh, but it, look, if your conclusion is that Steph Curry, who has been to the finals before, who is the greatest shooter of all time, who has done a lot of wonderful things, who is it? See, like, stop. Everybody says it. He is the greatest shooter of, all, shooter of all time. That's not a slight. That's not shade. I'm, I'm, I'm listing his accomplishments. You think I'm saying it. See, the problem is your expectation. You're reading between the lines, and there's no lines to read between. He is, without dispute, the greatest shooter of all time, period. So you think I'm saying that as a loaded statement. It's not. He's a, no. he's a, he's a two-time MVP. He's a unanimous MVP. All of these things. If you're saying Steph Curry is great. Sure. What I'm saying is that Jason Tatum, I believe is a more complete player than Steph Curry, but Steph Curry on. Okay, okay. so on so, on Friday night. So, so kind of said I got other stuff too. That's the problem is and maybe okay. Maybe we were having separate conversations all along and didn't realize it. I was sure. never comparing I was never comparing the player that Jason Tatum is to the play player that Steph Curry is. I was never comparing career accolades. I was never comparing reput reputation. We were talking about the best player in terms of their performance throughout this series. You keep bringing up their no, rankings. Okay. Here's what how, I was about how, to but say. But how do you ago. say? Here's what I was about to say. How do you say best ago. player? How do you say best player in the series? You're just saying best player in this particular series, but then this series goes away and we're not comparing them anymore. Both both performance oh, okay. like best player in the series for game one, two, three. Who's been the best player in the series? Maybe the word Ben will help. Who's been the best player so far in this series? It was Steph Curry. Who is the best player in general in a vacuum independent of this series? It's Steph Curry, but that's not the point. The point is all right. We wasted enough time on semantics. The point we is, time. And this is what I was about to say. We the point I was about to say is, yeah, you go doing it again. The point I was about to say is that, and everybody who knows you, especially me, knows that you are stubborn. You are stubborn and defiant. And in that regard, in that respect, I love you for it. You have a lot in common with Steph Curry. And I love that. It's ironic. You no, have a lot I, in I common don't... with Steph Curry. And that's what we, as I'm a competitor, that. and that's what we saw. Okay, fine. That. I'm saying it anyway. That's what we it. saw on Friday night. And here's what I reject about the best shooter qualifier that you kept putting on us when me, 
Natalie, Vinny, anybody else last week was like, so matter of fact about Steph Curry being the best player in the series so far, you were like best shooter. And maybe you were talking about in general because you felt like Tatum was a more complete player. I think unintentionally what you did, and I, I'm going to say unintentionally, maybe it was intentional. I think unintentionally what you did is what many people do when it comes to Steph Curry is his shooting is so spectacular. It's so otherworldly. It's so transcendent until what gets lost with Steph Curry is his competitiveness, is the physical specimen that he is, is the leader that he is, is the force that he is, is the, wait for it, pun intended, warrior that he is. And you saw that on Friday night, all of those things on display. Now, the thing I think you and I agree on, I don't even think this is an argument between us, is that it's awfully premature. Even four brilliant games in, but in a 2-2 series, where you got it's a best of three it's awfully premature right. to, to say what some have said is that regardless of the outcome Steph has done enough from through four games to be finals MVP that feels like an overcorrection on the part of the people who tried to say that Steph's resume was missing finals MVP how can you give yeah. finals MVP to somebody when your boy Jason Tatum may go nuclear in two of the next three or all three games and lead the Celtics to a championship. Jalen Brown could emerge as a finals MVP. Yeah, right. I mean, I think from a Warriors perspective, it will be Steph if they win it. But in defeat, does he get it? If the if the Celtics win and, and Jason Tatum continues to, I mean, he hasn't shot the ball well at all. But if Jason Tatum is yeah, spectacular right. in two of these next three games right. and they win a championship, I think that's, I think it's, an, I think it's, it's getting, that's getting out of control. It's to say that Steph's got MVP locked up right now. I think we agree on that. We agree. Not only do we agree on this. I hate this sentiment. And I'm a, I, you know, sorry, Magic, you said it. I'm going to go at you. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. I think it's the dumbest thing that you could possibly say to a competitor and think you're complimenting them. And it's actually offensive. Okay, let, let's just play it out. Let's play it out, Mike. The NBA Finals, let's say the Celtics win the NBA Finals. Let's say they win it in game seven. Mm -hmm. So let's say they win in the Chase Center. Game seven. Yeah. Yeah. And Warriors fans are filing out of there because they don't want to be around obnoxious Boston fans. The Celtics are on the court celebrating the title. And then they said, well, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, don't go anywhere because we got to announce the Finals MVP. And the finals MVP for averaging 30 something points and blank, blank, blank assists and rebounds and shot this from the field. Steph Curry. Is he going to come out there smiling? Is he going to come out there raising the trophy? Adam Silver hands it to him or, or Bill Russell or whoever hands it to him and he's hyped about it. And, and here's the other thing. This is like getting into the club, but then your boys can't get in. Hey, you were great, but they suck. You did everything you could. Hey, y'all lost, but it ain't your fault. You were the man. Like, how do you take that as a competitor? I think this is an outrageous that's, idea. That's probably why should Jerry never. West is still the only one to get it on the losing team. And he probably shouldn't have gotten it. The case. I, and he shouldn't have gotten it because I went back and watched that series. I told you a while ago. I went back and watched that series. He was did great. You? Where? Yeah. Yeah, I told you a while ago. Where'd you find, where'd you find it? <laughs> no, oh, it's on, on YouTube. YouTube. It's on YouTube. Oh, is it's it? It's on YouTube. Is it? Okay. Oh, okay. Man, you don't give. If you can't win the series, nobody who loses the series deserves Finals MVP. That is moronic. Finals well, MVP goes to the champ. Well, I Period. mean, listen, Bron. Man, you can there say was a the best player. Bron. Yeah. To bring it full circle, the best player didn't win Finals MVP. It, it, it's it's kind of right. It's kind of like what, what's your definition of value? How valuable can you have been to the ultimate goal if your team didn't could you have been if your team didn't win it? I think though what we're seeing from Steph to put a bow on it for us at least we'll come back to this in a moment is that he didn't need finals MVP to validate his all-time greatness, but this certainly helps. You know what I mean? It's like he didn't need it. He had nothing yeah. to lose and everything to gain a performance like this. Steve Kerr, I know we preach to the choir. You know, whenever I'm done coaching, um, I will 
look back and just say thank you to Steph. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.